heading towards mid, though. CYS, Whoa. Tinker very far forward. Centaur Whoa. wraps around. They've got an arrow to throw here as well with a leap into oh. the arrow. They've actually stunned up the Tinker. The damage output, it looks like it is good. But is it good enough? The Shadow Word with a final plink away from Papita's Marana will secure themselves that initial kill on the Tinker. Very nice. He's out of mana and he's on about, you know, two thirds HP. The bottle will be coming to him soon, but it's the Chen again rotating in. Wildwing's there. He's got the clap from the Tomato oh, and the damage output God. from Papita's Marana is more than enough, really, to clear up the Tinker. I think rune control is very important for Team Pichu if, if you... The surge and the arrow kind of just flew past his face. Mm -hmm. He does keep himself alive, Sand King. What's he doing up on this top lane? Venge and Void, they're actually holding their own here with the Blightstone. And the sentries, just in case he has one of these sandstorm abilities, but they start off on the Venge, and with this damage output they've got, oh, Chen brings in his creeps, but they're not able to stun up Fuga. They've still got the damage output from Caustic, while Terrence, Centaur, that's not how you stun people. We'll get the Burrow Strike down, and they're not going to chain Ox here. He's kind of a slow-paced hero. You don't really create any action until you've got the mech, until you've got the points up in vacuum. He doesn't want to come and defend, he wants to farm, and now, well, the fight begins. The Sand King's stunned, they've chained it nicely. Burrow Strike will not allow you to escape from this one as they finally secure themselves a kill as the Chen and Warlock make the rotation away from lane and leave him alone. They've been off map for quite some time and they found the Tinker as well. There's the Star Storm. Arrow wasn't on the mark, but they're going to try and TP to save him. It's just not going to be enough. Mirana, Moonlight Shadows, and they're out. It looks like they're fine. There's no way the Darks they can chase and find a kill. They'll turn back and just fight. And in that NC for a while for all the, uh, on all the stacks and the four heroes of Team Picho need to start to do some smoke to in order to be creating space. Oh Tinker, that's not a stack you want to farm. That's a couple of radiant heroes as the arrow will land beautifully on top. The Sand King might drop himself as well. The wall doesn't land, but Terrence still finds the kill there. Oh my With the help that. of the rest of his team, Pixel M, level one vacuum. Nice stun here from the Ventral Spirit. This is really secure the kill on the wall. Like a two for one, but it's still your Tinker. That the is very that bad wall, though. <laughs> a high ground wall. Life still because here comes the slow. Pixel M, there's no stuns to stop him from surging out. The swap on Chen, stun out from Venge, but the team's not there. Moonlight Shadow forward, and now the Venge is in trouble. The Life Stealer chomps through, kills off the Venge with one more swipe. Oh my goodness, Walter. Pretty good dive this one, and it's a good opportunity for them to take down the Frontier 2 tower. Moonlight Shadow already come out, they're trying to catch that Ogre Magi in the middle lane. Little by little, as the smoke dissipates from the Dire team, and now it hits night time. Hobbs gets placed out, and Mirana will scout with an arrow onto Darkseer, actually leaping forward to play aggressively with a DD rune up on her, the Star Storm. It lands, but it's not the double one. Now they turn to try and fight against the Mirana, but it's the two supports and an offlaner here. No real big damage sources, and the Ogre's left high and dry. Easy takedown, which might even convert into a Roshan here. On the Radiant if they want to, but it looks like they don't care. They want to go and kill more heroes. This is why I'll hard carry. Seems like he's just gonna go straight to Vladimir offering. Well, if I, I'm gonna face this wall and playing hard carry, I'm just gonna go for a power tree at Ring of Quila and just go straight for something big. Not something support like Vladimir. Life stealer. This might not have been your play. Still has the rage, but he's stunned oh, up by the Venge, nice. and that's a really good turnaround there from T Show. Nice right back. Get rid of the Algodal. The uh, position one heroes of Team Bowser. Vladimir, what do you think? Thank you. He can just easily use his epicenter and jump in Burrow Strike on two, and it's gonna be easy kill on the. Uh, they need to time this yeah. with the TP's Warlock level six. Drops the rock. Stun comes in with a Burrow Strike as well. The swap not gonna be good enough. Barely going to take down the void, and in that case, you take the Venge with him. But that was close. The swap nearly enabled the time walk to come out of the void, and this is now. Tinker, who to travel arrive. Trouble oh. is, Sanking's there already. See why, yes. God, so many bad mistakes made between T-Show and now Tinker is going to be the, the next one who goes down. Very easy kill by the Life Stealer. 10 4 in this game score. Life Stealer got three kills already. Two. Not scouted, but the pings are being flashed around the map. This Chen, a little bit of a straggler as Come Terrence on. thinks about the Chrono. Swap is there, but so is the Moonlight Shadow. They've got the dust and they clear up one. Well prepared. That's a good pick. Time. I hold on to Chrono, which is the huge thing here. Need the Chrono for that laser rocket march from the Tinker, really, to do a good amount of damage. Terrence, last words on him and the Void being chased down by 
The life stealer and the Sand King burst strike in. Swap. There's a time walk oh, there. And away. Swap in 20 seconds time. It's still on cooldown, but the Chrono's onto two. There's the damage output into the Sand King, and they've stalled this one up beautifully. Vulture can't really push forward aggressively. As they do get controlled up and lose yeah. two very key pushing oh. heroes in the Sand King. 6. 1.7k gold in Faces Void Pumpkin. It might be. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a blink. And now the team fight starts. Full guys attack yet. They're gonna die in the river. Dominating streak broken. The Marana goes down because of that Tinker. The solo kill on top. Maybe Imagine Mist will out go down. And also, um, an Aegis of Immortal. Gonna stay away from the fight right now for Team T Show. There's nothing much they can do. That Light Stealer is too strong. But they're just gonna com commit the fight. The problem lane side off with the Chronosphere. And Magic uh, Heat Seeking Missile. And a laser just finish him off. Went full spirit is the one who got the kill. Three, adding two deaths to her name and giving these kills across to the Tinker who's building up a fair chunk of gold. What's Faceless Void building into? Looks like it's gonna be the standard kind of Manta style Diffusal Blade build as he will pick off the Sand King up on top lane. Oh. Seems like they, they finally they started to do some mi mistake in this game. Touching on earlier, the Warlock, we've seen you know, one ulti really from them. It's kind of surprising here that Vulture don't group yeah. up and really make the yeah. most of this Aegis. I mean, they've, they've taken down all of these. Oh, Void gets taken out by the Marana top lane. But they've not made the most of the Aegis. They're not making the most of the Warlock ult. Wait for something like Sand King bling and get inside Sand King and the throw a strike. Base of the like, Chen creeps. Yeah. Doing something like that. I don't know what's coming. Chen, there is the swap into stun and Tinker arrives, but in comes the Sand King with the combo with the goal lovers with the fatal bonds. They've killed off two. Tinker avoided end, and so is that poor little Darkseer. Venge and Ogre, the last ones remaining. Perfect setup, beautiful execution. They find a big team fight. This is definitely to the advantage of Vulture. They're going to have the upper hand, and they might find the Tinker TPing in mid. He thinks he's safe further back on the creep wave, but in fact, it was. Really, what that led to his very demise? Fast. Very, very fast. You know, that, that life to the Sand King combo. By the Bloodthorn. That's a big item. Ah, see, oh, that was really close. Sand King's out of there, it looks like. And the rest of his team converging onto that position. All five of Vulture at top lane. Aegis is gone, and now they don't have that leeway where life still had the secondary life available. They'll jump forward and Chrono up the Sand King alone. I'm not sure this is going to work with a Golem drop to turn around as here. The vacuum wall looks decent, but oh. it's just not enough damage. The Sand King has died, but it's one hero that they have lost. As Lifestealer just sprints through this enemy team, looking for the Void. He gets a lot of damage done. Doesn't have the Disable to actually finish him off, but the Venge will die. A one for one trade off is not what T Show needed. The golems just keep on sprinting through the battle, continues in the back with the Tinker, getting a decent chunk of damage onto the Chen as the Darkseer Illusions nearly finishing him off, but he's not going to die just here. They've got the wall teams all in all. Again, they've slowed things down a little bit here again of T Show as they try to get in onto the face, onto the life stealer, but it's the Marana swap mid leap. They've got the stuns, the vacuum back, they've killed her off, the Tinker coming in, the right. ladies, the damage. Now the life still sprinting out, but it's the epicenter. Not Gee, a good the epicenter, actually. Not going to be able to get the damage done, oh. but he's got the Yules and the Blink to... Uh, oh no, good wall! Great wall, in fact, finds the kill! Out comes Lifestealer, chomps down the Venge! That's just a lowly support, though. Can they find the kill on to this Lifestealer, though? Void. He's trying to chase him down. In comes the Tinker, the nuke damage comes out, the Chronos on the back end, holding oh in the two supports! The Chen and the Warlock are being held, and the Tinker is 1v1-ing pretty much this Lifestealer. The Ogre and the Darks help out a little bit, but the damage comes from the Tinker. Oh. Now, they've oh. killed off four! They've actually won a team fight. T-Show, look for the face! The Warlock's Stunned with a multicast, and down he goes with a final bash what from Faceless Void. All of a sudden, T Show, are they back in this? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is officially come back by the team T Show. I was about to flame that T Show <laughs> Faceless Void. I was with six, five, four to the next uh, Chronosphere Faceless Void. Re maybe ready to jump in. Oh, the smoke pops. The Dark Side wants to use the Marana. Oh, they back. jump on in. They've got the Venge stun as well. And the Chrono, they've got it. Whoa. Down on the two of the wall. A Golem lands on their heads, but it's the wall. Drops down, and the laser spams out. Bounces oh, between them. Goodness. Refraction at its finest. Just keep on coming. CYS, they're cleaning up house. Clear up the Golems. And guess what? Roshan's alive. Ready to jump in. Mama Sand oh. King released the baby. Ooh. 
That was really close. Low down on that mark. I mean, he just got to teleport right away. Not there. The swap is, though. The Chrono in from the Void. The damage output is amazing. Intense onto this Murana. Finishes her off. And now he's down to the Life Stealer, who's just chain stunned into oblivion. Oh. No! They've done it! T Show take down the two big cores. And there's no rebuttal here from the Radiant. Time to escape. Tail between legs. It really. You know how we were saying the top three heroes in terms of net worth of the game for so long were the Radiant ones, the Life Stealer, the Murana, and the Sand King. Now. You take a look at the top five, and it's inhabited by three of the dire heroes, the Tinker. Top lane. Void and that Dark Seer blink oh. away. Tinker is a good hero, but he's still going to get chased and stunned, and Hex is there, but not enough to save his own life. Dead without buyback for 70 seconds. This could be an opening for them, unless their Chen gets oh picked God. off and perma bash the Hyperstone. Oh, yeah, that's real. Let's don't uh, let's just don't say that's a good luck on the face as well because his attack speed is only around zero points. Baron, two point. Yeah. Oh, look at that! A big team fight in the middle lane. Oh, that's Ooh. a big vacuum actually, but still no chrono into the wall. The lasers down and the hell heal comes from Chen. Finally, the void arrives. Chen looks like he's done for. While oh, the Sand King channels the epicenter, looking for the go on in. There's My the life still absolutely demolished, though. Terence, he is cleaning up house, and there's really no way to stop this. One by one, they fall. The dominoes, uh, they land in place. I and need that guy at my house right now. You know, I'm gonna find my mate and replace him. Yeah, and that shadow build with the Lincoln's first. It's definitely paying off here for Terence. Top lane. They oh. found the Tinker. Yes, they have. Good shout. It's a nice little bonus for them, but I'm not sure it really changes anything. They gotta buy it out. It's so hard to defend lanes as well. You know, double catapult, about a million creeps walking into your base. Marana has to get in here to clear the wave, but the trouble is, Dire Team are ready. Oh my. A uh, nice swap into Hex, perfect play, and I think that might just be it. The jump forward, clear up another, and it's just systematic demolition. They've perfectly timed this to clear up oh. the game and clear up the series. It looks like Tisho the Brazilians will be Whoa. taking themselves through to the semi-finals. As Vulture team, unfortunately, will be going home. Wow, this is actually one of the best game of the tournament, do you think? End up with the team.